Guys, so we're back here in the dining room. I'm using my uh, laptop camera. Uh, I'm not too sure how this sort of camera quality comes out, so let me know in the comments if it, you know, I need to get the cameras out. Uh, just using this because it's easy on my laptop. I can video and then post straight away. So using this camera for now. Okay, so press on. Uh, we've looked at vehicles already in sixth edition. Uh, how they've changed. Um, what's been better? What's been worse? So now I'm going to do a quick video on infantry. Now. The theory of infantry stayed very much the same. They're still, you know, still move six inches. They're still primarily troops, so they're still primarily your objective takers. Um, still the same frailties of you know, not being inside transports, um, being susceptible to small arms fire, these kind of things. Um, but the whole premise of sixth edition has made infantry much, much more viable and much more survivable in a sense. So we're going to look at some of the issues that surround infantry. Now, <clears throat> infantry as a whole have been made a lot more mobile. Uh, and probably thinking, well, how are they more mobile? They still move six inches. Well, what's made them more mobile is the change to rapid fire weapons now being able to shoot at full range on the move. Obviously, fifth edition that was impossible to shoot your one shot at full distance. You had to be moving stationary. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But now you can move your six inches and still fire that one shot at full range. And considering most armies, bar one or two, um, all the basic infantry troops come with rapid fire weapons. You know, all the marines, sisters of battle, uh, necrons, you know, things of that nature. Things like Eldar, Dark Eldar, Grey Knights. They've got the assault weapons, but. And the majority of troops in infantry have the rapid fire weapons, Imperial Guard, LAS guns. So the, the ability now to move six inches and still fire gives you like a 30 inch threat bubble. Okay, you may be already popping one or two shots or you know seven, eight shots, but it's still extra shots and still damage you can do during the game. So from that aspect, you know, infantry are now a much more viable option because you're not as hindered as much in terms of mobility, because you can now you know, you can still move into position, move to those objectives, move into the midfield, while still tapping at enemies on the way in. And of course, when you get there with your rapid fire weapons, you've still got the ability to double tap. So, in that sense, infantry has had a massive, massive boost with that simple change to rapid fire weapons. Uh, another issue regarding infantry is cover saves. Now, most cover has been sort of toned down from a 4 plus to a 5 plus. Which I think was necessary. If you look at fifth edition, um, cover saves sort of ruled the day. Um, it was quite easy to get cover saves. Um, they were very forgiving, and now the majority dropped to five plus. You know, through uh, area terrains five plus. Yeah, through any enemy or friendly models is five plus. Smoke launchers five plus. Things like that. They're all five plus now. Uh, Ruin stayed up four plus. Um, but the majority of cover is 5 plus. So, in that sense, you, you know, cover is less forgiving, so you think, well, infantry is more vulnerable. But in actual fact, cover saves have been toned down, but they're actually easier to get because now it needs to be 25% of a unit that's hidden to get a cover save. So, whilst the cover save is not as forgiving, it's easier to get. So, you're probably going to be getting cover saves more often than you're not. And this also allows you to be more manoeuvrable because you can, instead of having to leave half your unit in cover, you can now just leave 25% of the unit in cover and move the rest of it forward. And you'll still be in receipt of cover save. Um, it also gives you an incentive to sort of move more out into field. I mean, you go to most tournaments now, a lot of the cover will be sort of in the midfield area. You'll have like walls, barricades. So, um, forest, woods, things of that nature that give 5 plus cover save um, so it gives you more of an incentive to move out because you think well I'm going to get a five plus, cover, 5 plus cover save back in my own deployment zone I might as well move forward, firing on the way in um, and getting you know the 5 plus cover save close to my enemy so in that sense you know inventory again is more usable just for the mobility and the fact that cover saves are now easier to get um, the other thing that's changed with infantry is how infantry beats infantry. With the changes to vehicles, um, 
Uh, obviously, the whole point, and I spoke about in the last video, how vehicles are now easier to kill. Uh, if you think in terms of firepower, it takes less to kill a predator, for example, than it does to kill 10 tactical space marines. You know, one last cannon can blow up a predator, whereas one last cannon is going to kill a single map. So if you think people are demecking and taking more infantry, that means that if you take more infantry, then you're going to have more anti-infantry. Uh, I'm sort of following that guy, that guys. So your know, infantry begets more infantry. So once the battlefields of sixth edition become flooded with infantry, it almost becomes necessary to field our own infantry to cope with the onset of the numbers. Because I'd rather have, in in terms of survivability and usability on the table, I'd rather have a ten-man squad than one vehicle just in terms of survivability, damage output, etc, etc. Okay, maybe different about vehicles and land raider, but that's nickel and dime and we'll get into that later. So, in my opinion, uh, infantry is going to rule the day in 6th edition. I think vehicles are definitely out. Um, so I don't want to go too much into vehicles because that was in another video, but um, I think the majority of armies now and the top competitive tournament armies are probably going to be more and more infantry heavy and we're going to see less and less armor on on the table um, and I, I've sort of been thinking and preempting this so there's another video on the way regarding the meta shift so to speak so that's infantry guys uh, it's not changed a whole great deal you know it's still infantry infantry is infantry you know you can get your six inch move um, can fulfill a variety of roles like infantry always has been able to and they make up the bulky force and they still take objectives if the troops are fast attack heavy support in the relevant robot missions so yeah I think the infantry overall has taken a boost when you consider that vehicles are now weaker so if you're thinking about competitive armies think about getting more bodies on the ground guys more boots on the battlefield is going to be the best way to go so that's the second video in this series, that's infantry done, and we'll look at some of the other unit types and how they have changed in Sith. Okay guys, just watching.